what is up what is up what is up what is happening all my internet hustlers out there all my internet hustlers that like to make money online or take money online but the honest way okay so welcome back welcome back all right check it out y'all you know every now and then I just like to drop a little video where I kind of just talk to you guys drop a couple of gems you know to help and motivate you along your um, entrepreneurial journey okay so some of you guys out there you you might just be doing this you know just to make extra change extra cash just to help you you know get over the hump or you know keep the car on the road you know keep gas in the car especially with the gas prices today Whew, I don't even drive yet. I God, I hope that by the time I do start driving, which I am planning to get behind the wheel very, very soon. But I hope by then these prices have gone way down. Oh my God, oh my God, because that on top of insurance, Lord have mercy, I'm going to need another job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, um, so... I do understand, you know, that a lot of people that do this online marketing, uh, whether it be affiliate marketing, referral marketing, MLM, you know, whatever it is, you know, CPA, whatever it is, I do understand because some people just mess around on their phone and, you know, join a bunch of Facebook money making groups on, you know, work at home groups. And, you know, you just get in these groups and you find little uh, programs or a little things that you want to do, you know, you might sign up for one of these little credit card things, you know what I'm saying, that uh, are paying maybe $10, $20 for every sign up you get, you know, I do a lot of referral marketing like that as well within my Facebook groups and whatnot, and it does pay, it does make money, you know, it will keep a little money in your pocket, you know what I'm saying, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, if you're consistent with it, the thing is to be consistent, pay attention to the timing, and all those kind of things, but those kind of things they can help and they can keep money in your pocket, as I said. <clears throat> excuse me. Hold on one sec. Whew, excuse me. I had to get a little taste of my watermelon. <laughs> yeah, man. I love watermelon, you know what I'm saying? It is so so good for you. So so good for you. But that that's another topic for another channel, another day. Okay? <clears throat> But anyway, like I said, you know, those things can be good. You know what I'm saying? Those little apps and those little uh, 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 programs or referral um, programs that we sign up for with these little Facebook sites, through these little Facebook sites, they can really put some nice money in your pocket if you're consistent and you know what I'm saying? You, you, you want it. You want it. You got to be constantly posting, though, with those things, man. That's one thing I had to learn. And it took me some time to really, really get that, you know, in my mind, sunk in. That you got to be consistent and you have to join damn near all <laughs> the work online, work at home, stay at home mom, whatever it is, okay? Apps that pay, whatever kind of uh, what, catchphrase you want to put in in reference to that type of work. You want to join damn near all those groups, okay? All of them. Join as many of them as you can because... You want to be posting every day. You want to be posting at the primary times. Um, you know, you really have to be on it. So, you know, um, but like I said, as long as you're doing that, there can be, you can see benefit from it. I mean, I know some people that I met through my Facebook groups that are mashing out like a day. These brothers and sisters are showing you the receipts letting you see what kind of paydays they have and like yo some of their paydays be like three four hundred dollars yo so it do pay off you know what i mean if you have a payday like that three four hundred dollars unless as long as your expenses are not too astronomical but if you haven't paydays like that you know what i'm saying at least two three days out of a seven day week you can be set up pretty nice for the whole week. And you only had to do what? I mean, think about it. Listen. 
How much time we spend on Facebook anyway? You know what I'm saying? We spend mega, mega hours, a lot of y'all, not me. You know what I mean? I post shit on Facebook. Sometimes I just find stuff and just, you know, tap, post, send it, and never even go back to check and see how much response it got or anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm barely on Facebook like that. I spend more time on Facebook when it comes to making money than just perusing, you know, and lounging around. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't one of them people to be up there taking pictures of my feet. No disrespect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that respectfully. But real talk. You know, so, you know, I mean, listen. All those things can help. It can help, but you know, like I was saying, if you're going to be sitting around on Facebook anyway, snapping pictures of your feet and your Fruit Loops, why not be up there making money? This is what I always say, you know, and so I be trying to pass these things on to my Facebook folks, you know, especially my people in my circle that I know are pretty bereft of funds and they always complain about not have no money, you know, I'm broke, blah, blah, blah. I try to put them on to these things that they can do because shit, like I said, you already on Facebook, you mind, why not use it to make some money? And if you want to go a step further, you know, you cannot just be into that. But you can go into affiliate marketing. Maybe some of you already do that. You know what I'm saying? You can go into affiliate marketing. You can go on sites like clickbank.com, which we all know about. I have a Clickbank starter kit here, okay, that I posted about a week or two ago. Okay, I'm getting ready to post some new ones, another part two and a part three of here sometime today, this evening or whatever have you. You know, but you can go a step further than just doing that referral marketing and sharing app links and things like that, you know, signing up for different bank cards that offer referral payment, you know, plans and, you know, referral payments and stuff like that. You can go a step further and, you know, get into affiliate marketing and, sign and make commissions promoting and selling other people's products. Like, you can maybe go on ClickBank, like I was saying, uh, Warrior Plus, um, there's, uh, oh man, what's, what's, what's this, what's this? There's two more that's not coming to my mind right now at this moment, but I will leave links in the description. So do check the description for links to the things that I mentioned here in this video right now because I'm getting ready to wrap this up. But you know, so there are multiple ways that we can make money. Whether you need to make extra money, whether you just need to make, whether you just need to make money, period, right? So, you know, like, my point is this. All of that's cool to make money and to bring in extra money or just bring in money. But what is your long-term objective with this? If you are someone that's into, let's say, affiliate marketing, uh, multiple streams of income, you know, um, if you're somebody that's into this, like really, really into this, you're trying to really make a breakthrough with this, you know, you're searching on YouTube right here all day looking for different ways to make money, you know what I mean? excuse me, on a daily basis or whatever, a weekly basis. What is your long-term objective? You know, because you can make a lot of money doing these type of things as long as you're consistent and you build your foundation. Build your foundation, build your email list, build your contacts, things like that. And as long as you do that, you can be consistent, right? But what is the, what is your, what is your objective? Is your objective to see longevity with this? Is your objective to, you know, whatever you do. Listen, it might not be affiliate marketing that you into. It might not be referral marketing that you into. It might not be none of that shit online that you into. You might be an e-commerce. You might be a drop shifter. A drop shifter. Um, uh, 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 you may be into t-shirt logo design. Like, by the way, this, this picture that you're looking at right here on the screen, this is one of my designs right here. Okay, this is my design. Okay, B D C T S dot S I T E dot site. Okay, that is my address for um, that is my website for um my uh Etsy shop Etsy shop. Okay, these are all my designs. Um, I have other businesses, other people that do the printing and the shipping and all that stuff for me. And I get that handled other places, but they are all my designs. And most of my designs are custom designs. So, yeah, you know, it don't matter what it is you do. If you are looking to have longevity and true success, I mean, really make money, then you have to know that at the end of the day, the best way to do that is get an LLC. 
Listen to me, man. Let me tell you something. You can make money doing anything. Oh. And when I say anything, I mean anything. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. If you listen, if what you do is let's say I don't care if you was doing hair out your kitchen three times a week, you know, one customer a day, you know, charging sixty to a hundred dollars, one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if that's what what you was doing. That's your business. That's your hustle, right? You can turn that into a business. Get you an LLC. You understand what I'm saying? Even if you was just making dinners on Sundays and selling them, you can turn that into a business. You know what I mean? Get you an LLC, you know, and now take that business and start, uh, take that business and start building up your credit. Start building up your credit. Start building, you know, if you got bad credit, I'll leave a, leave a link in the description of one of the best credit uh, 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 repair agencies that have uh, numerous 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 hands down testimonies okay about them i'm actually signing up with them okay as we speak okay but they have numerous numerous testimonies about the, the thousands and thousands of people that they've helped repair their credit for cheap and these people are cheap they're not looking to, for you or asking for you to pay them hundreds and hundreds of dollars i think you can start with like 45 65 dollars and they always doing sales you understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna leave all that stuff in the description. Okay, but um listen man. Get yourself an LLC for your business. You know, like I said, if it was you doing hair out your kitchen, you can turn that into a business. You know what I mean? Come up with a name for your business. You know, even if it's just your name that you use. You know what I'm saying? Um um Tamika hairstyle feels so, looks so fabulous salon. You know, Tamika's hairstyle looks so fabulous. You know, hairstyle company or whatever. Tamika's looks so fabulous hairstyle company, agency or whatever. You know, in salon. You know what I mean? Um, old time, old time cooking. You know what I'm saying? Old time cooking in the kitchen, soul food restaurant. You know what I mean? Whatever you gonna come up with, give it a name. Create a logo. There are several sites that you can use where you can create free logos. Wix is one of them. I know other ones. I'll leave those descript those links in the description as well for you. I mean, but yo, listen. There are so many things that you can do. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, if you really want to build a substantial uh, uh, financial wealth for yourself, as I'm now learning, create a business for yourself get, get an LLC for that business you can use places like you can do it yourself go online search it for your what's the uh, uh, you know what's the steps you got to go through to get an LLC in your state you can go online and do that and then you can you know get the application sit down and do it yourself you know do it manually or you can go to sites like Taylor brand Taylor brand T A I L O R B R A N D S dot com Okay, you can go through them, which is who I went through, you know what I'm saying, um, to get your LLC. You know what I mean? They do everything. It's like, you know, click, click, click. Everything is click, click, click. It's very simple, you know what I mean? And you can get that done for under $200. You might even be able to get it done for, shoot, who knows, under $100, you know what I mean? Depending on all the, um, I guess you can say, uh, all the uh, add-ons you want them to put on, which uh, um, you select for your business license for your LLC to have but get you that man and then start you know what I'm saying building your credit fix your um fix your if your credit is if your personal credit is bad build your, your build up your personal credit you know what I mean start getting credit start getting things in your business name because listen creditors will give businesses credit way before they give credit to um for personal use. See what I'm saying? It'll be harder for you to get credit in your own name. You know what I mean? But you can do things like get credit in your business name. You know what I mean? They, credit creditors love to give credit for businesses. Capital One, Capital One, American Express, all these different um, credit entities. They love to give credit for businesses. You know what I mean? Especially starter businesses. Oh, man. You can get loans, credits. I, 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 the list is extensive as I'm learning. Okay? And then what you can do is now take this credit that you've now acquired 
for your business, get the certain things. You might get a, a, a Capital One or, or American Express credit uh, a startup of about $50,000. You can take that now and instead of doing kit, I mean, here in your kitchen, now you can, if you got a back room, a basement, someplace in your house, or maybe shit, you got a backyard, you can buy a shed. Buy a shed. Insulate that shit the old school way. Get some egg crates, some 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 crates or some foam from Home Depot or where wherever. And you and your family get together and insulate that bit so you can stand up it so you can be all right in there in the winter time. You know what I mean? Get some uh, get somebody to do the little electrical in there for you. Hook something up for you. Because you want to get somebody to hook it up that know what they're doing, right? We ain't trying to burn down, you know what I mean, and turn into crispy bacon while we doing hair. And we ain't trying to burn nobody else down. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah, man, you can go in, you can get you some uh, somebody to do the electrician for you. Um, get you lights and get you some lights up in there, electricity flowing all through there. You know what I mean? You got the credit. You got the business loan. You got the business credit down to do these things. And with a business loan, you ain't got to pay it back. And with the business on your, with the business credit, that's not on your personal thing so, so much. Now that's mostly your business. You're not so liable for that personally. You see what I'm saying? Yes, you do have to pay it back. Don't get it twisted. You got to pay it back. You feel what I'm saying? But the point is, is that maybe right now you ain't even got too much of nothing. Maybe you just took that last $200 to get that LLC. But that's okay, baby. Now, you know, or, 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 or to get the LLC and to start up, to pay the first month to start up with your credit repair. Which I told you I'm going to leave these links in the description, right? So now... We ain't okay, okay. We ain't got no more money, but now we can ready to build up and get some credit files, so which we can use as money to build up our business. You know what I mean? Now, like I said, you can turn that basement or that back room, or get you a shed if you got a backyard. Turn that into your your salon, right? Get you some um hair dryers, them things you sit under. You know what I mean? Get you some of them. You know what I mean? Look up places where you can get that cheap. You know what I'm saying? eBay or whatever. You know what I mean? Search the web for places. You know what I mean? Get you some chairs. You know what I'm saying? Some professional uh, beauty salon, barbershop type chairs, right? Hook your place up. Boom, you got a business. You you cook out. You was cooking in your way. Get you a food car. You know what I mean? You can probably get you a secondhand food car. Hook that joint up. Man, let me tell you some of the best, to, best people to know to do these little jobs like electrician, Car, car, uh, uh, body, uh, mechanics, and all that kind of stuff. Be the brothers and the sisters in your neighborhood, man. Them brothers in your neighborhood, them old men that sits on the corner. If you from the hood, you know what I'm talking about. Them old men that sit up on the corner every day, you know, drinking their little beer or their little shots or whatnot, just talking shit, shooting the breeze. One of them brothers know something about how to repair cars and do mechanics, you know what I'm saying? One of them brothers know something about electronics, or they know somebody that knows somebody that do all that stuff. Because, you know, when it comes to, to uh, melanated people, you know, brown people, copper people, this shit runs in our bloodline, you know what I mean? And that's no disrespect to anybody else, because this information can be used no matter what your nationality is. That's not what we hear about, right? But I had just had to put that out there, you know what I'm saying, as a melanated woman. So y'all get my drift, man. This is how we going to build. And this is how you're going to be able to see success in your business. But don't just take that little tidbit piece of information from me. Look further into this. Start to study these things on your own. You can look up people online right here on YouTube. On YouTube like, um, Earn Your Leisure. Go to that channel. Earn your leisure and you find out everything you need to know in reference to what I'm talking about as far as that building a business credit for yourself in the LLC. You'll find out everything you need to know on channels like that. So, you know, without that, without no more being said and holding this video up any longer, you know, don't forget to check out my site, BDC, BDCTs dot S-I-T-E dot site Etsy shop, okay? Check it out. All designs are created by me. Okay, follow me also here on YouTube. You can find me at uh, Black Don't Crack Tees. Okay, that's what BDC stands for. Black Don't Crack Tees. Look me up. Okay, throw me a like. Throw, throw me a subscribe. I appreciate it. 
And throw me a like and a subscribe here. I appreciate you guys for taking the time to listen to me. Kick it with y'all. Drop some just drop some gems on you. And I hope it helped you along your journey. And you know what I'm saying? And I wish you all the best of success. All the best of success. Like I always say, here's to your success. Peace.